All right, well, we are getting back outside now, uh, talking about the weather. Really, really pretty sunset tonight. It was like that yesterday, again tonight. So, Erin, we are really getting treated in our region with these beautiful sunsets and these long days. I love it. I know. It's been really nice because we've been seeing some of those showers in the morning hours, and they taper off and give us these gorgeous sunsets. Although, be it, it's cloudy at times. We're at 54 degrees right now. Winds out of the south southwest at six miles an hour as we close out May 1st. So, here's how we did average temperature is 62. The record today is 85 set back in 2014. That was a warm May 1st. If you remember out along the coast, still feeling chilly with that onshore flow and we're fighting the cloud cover out there in the upper 50s for Hoquiam and Forks and Quileute Nia Bay. Also upper 50s for Snohomish County, but elsewhere from Seattle southward, we're seeing temperatures in the low to mid 60s and east of the Cascades. We're cooler today than we were yesterday, but still almost 80 degrees for the lower Columbia Basin in the Tri-Cities and Pasco where it was very breezy. We had a wind advisory up throughout much of the day. Seeing a few spits of showers over the Cascades right now for Snoqualmie Pass. Otherwise, we're clear in some spots getting really pretty pictures after the sun went down around 820 tonight, but we'll increase the cloud cover as we get into the overnight hours. 49 right now for Everett, 55 for Seattle, a cool 52 across the Canadian border in Vancouver, British Columbia, and 56 down in the Rose City with temperatures on the coast already dipping into the mid 40s. So overnight, we'll increase the cloud cover a few scattered showers here. We had a convergent zone set up earlier today, and it's finally pushing off into the mountains where it should start to wrap up. But we'll call temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Places like Olympia and Shelton and Lacey, and even down towards Centralia, we could dip into the upper 30s. So it will feel very cool because 45 is normal for this time of year. So we'll be normal right around the central sound. Okay, let's let you know how you shape up for the next couple of days, 48 hours or so. For our Sunday, a mostly dry day. We might see a few pop up showers. We've got high pressure. It's going to slide right in and help us out. That ridge is going to really keep us uh, nice for our Sunday. We've got a lot going on as far as sporting events outside. But Monday, we start to see the shower activity come back our way really late Sunday night into Monday with that next frontal system. So let's look at this as we go through tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. You can see most of us waking up cloudy skies. Some of us getting some filtered sunshine really nice at the coast. Temperatures won't warm up all too much for tomorrow. Maybe right around the low 60s. 5 o'clock, a really nice day. We should have a gorgeous Gorgeous sunset. Increase the cloud cover as the night goes on. And as we get very early Monday morning, 9 a.m., we'll start to see it out along the coast, but heading inland by the afternoon. So we'll call it afternoon showers, but they move through pretty quickly and they stay snug up against the Cascades. So tomorrow, our temperatures will be in the upper 50s to low 60s to mid 60s for places like Olympia. And again, 62 is our average seasonal temperature. At the ocean beaches, upper 50s, a really pretty, nice beach day. And even as we look to the Cascades, our freezing level jumps to about 5,500 feet. Temperatures right around 50. Plenty of mountain sunshine. And you're going to get that sunshine towards Wenatchee, Ellensburg, even up towards Chelan. Low 70s, a beautiful day. Seven day spread shows us that, yes, there's a lot going on with the Mariners and the Sea Wolves and the Sounders tomorrow. We talked about Monday, even into Tuesday, where you dry out. If you're thinking about Cinco de Mayo, though, it looks really nice. Low 70s. And then we track down right back to normal.